G'day guys, welcome back. Look, look, it's a jigsaw mold. <laughs> Yay. I'm going to pour in this today and um, I'm just going to use some gorgeous holographic glitters. Something nice and bright and fun because I think it's a fun, unique mold. So that's what I'm going to do. The, they are all from Lyrisi. Uh, the holographic, that one is called Lake Blue. And that one is Copper. Grass green and purple. And then I thought just to tie the four of them together, I'm going to put a little bit of this black holographic uh, shards or glitter in there as well, just to tie them all in. Just a, just a tiny bit though. I wasn't going to initially and I thought, oh, what can I do to tie everything together? So that's what I'm going to do. And um, I have got, I made up a big cup of resin. It's my Platinum 360 Plus. I did 225 grams of A, 97 grams of B, and then I have divided it into four cups. Okay, so let's get started. I'll just do one at a time here. Actually, I should probably take my gloves off. I can't do this with gloves on. Can I? I'll put them back on in a minute. So I thought these, these colours went nicely together. And I'm going to use my little spoon. Let's do it. We'll do a heaped spoon of that. Feel free to fast forward if you don't want to watch me <laughs> scooping glitter into cups. So I'll put a heaped spoon into each of these. Actually, I better wipe that first, hadn't I? Before, so I don't get blue in with the purple. Then a big scoop of the purple. So, not sure how much of the black to put in. Just, just a little hint, I think. First of all, I was thinking, oh, maybe I could get some black pigment paste and go around all the edges and it kind of pull in. But then I thought, well, it might, it might overtake, and then I'd lose all the, all the glitter effect, you know. So I thought, no, nah, let's just put a little bit of the black glitter in and see how that goes, rather. Like that spoon again. Okay, and the last one is a bit copper. Yeah, I thought these four colours looked nice together. I got all of my colours out and I just put them all next to each other and thought which ones looked nice together. Hopefully I don't need any more than a big scoop. I'm not sure. <laughs> I may have to go in and add another big scoop, hey? All right, now let's just, before I mix everything in, I'll add a little bit of this black, just a, just a little bit, probably about a quarter of a spoon maybe, with probably no, a third of a spoon. Okay, right up. Let's mix those in and see how we go. Hopefully I won't need any more. Oh, yeah, I think that's plenty of the purple glitter anyway. I don't know that you can see a lot of the black in there, but I don't want to see a lot of the black. I just want a, a hint just so it ties all four together. I think that's going to be pretty perfect. Don't want any more black. So no mica powder in this, no paste, just glitter. And then I guess we can decide if we want to use the tops or the bottoms. The tops will have more like a little ridge around the tops, I guess, unless you file them down um, and then the bottoms probably be a little bit more slightly curved maybe we'll just have to wait and see what happens all right let me get my gloves back on and uh, start pouring the resin in so I think a nice sort of easy easy little project if you're new to resin you know all you got to do is mix in some glitters it's 
it's pretty easy not a difficult thing to do all right here we go love this color i know they call it blue what is it lake blue but i think it's more of a turquoise i just i just love it here we go i'm just going to pour that in i won't put it all in just yet i want to make sure that it levels oh well, you know what hang on oh my gosh hang on hang on oh my gosh oh i need to move all this i need to take those out i was doing my skull the other day and the skull is um not level so i had to put all these under one side now that skull mold oh shoo just as well i just remembered that hey otherwise everything would have been overflowing all right let's get back to it make sure your work surface is really level see i have a board under here um, and then I can lift it um, in whichever direction I need to. But yeah, that um, the skull mold for some reason isn't isn't level. And I know my bench was level because I use it all the time. Copper. These are looking really good, you guys. That tiny bit of black in there is just adding a little bit of depth. You can't really see the black as such. It's just adding a little bit of depth of colour to everything. First time I'm using this mold, so I wasn't exactly sure how much to make up, but I just made up the same as I would if I was doing, you know, my four uh, large coaster, the round coaster mold. I just made up the same amount as I make up for that one. It probably has a bit less actually because a round, you know, a coaster's round. So we're missing some areas. I probably don't need quite as much, but I thought I'll, I'll mix up the same amount. If there's any left, I can pop them in a pendant or something like that. So I don't like to waste it. Uh, and then once you've unmolded, you know, you can edge them with something or you could just leave them plain. This one's got a little bit much in it, I think. Ah, and that's it. How easy is that, hey? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let's make sure they've all got the same amount in them. When I'm looking at them, I can see um, like a, a little bit of light catching the edge there and I can see it sort of curving with that light catching it so I'm looking at those on each of them to see if they're all the same if I can catch that bit of light there all right that's it that's done um we'll give them a very light little torch actually no I won't I've got something new I was at my local supermarket yesterday and they had these, look, little long, night, long neck lighters. How cute are they? So I grabbed four. They're only like $2.50 each. <laughs> so I grabbed four. Let's move these out of the way. Let's, I've never used these before, like, you know, the lighters. I don't know how they work, but I guess they pop bubbles. Actually, you know what? To be safe, it's probably a better idea that you take your gloves off before you use an open flame. Think that would be a better idea because the flame is coming up you know it's it's coming up I'd hate it for it to um, you know catch hold of the the plastic on the gloves that would not be a good thing so yeah I've never done this before trying to pop bubbles don't know if it actually does anything or not but there we go <laughs> I did it all right now the leftovers um, I don't think there's enough in there for a, a puffy heart. Um, I might be able to do something else with them. Anyway, um, I will see you later on today once these have cured. And then we can flip them over, see which side we like, and see if they'll actually join together in a puzzle. All right, catch you soon. Right, oh, it's been about six hours, I think. And... Uh, Let's get these out, hey? Come out nice and easily. Oh, and I managed to get one of each of the puffy hearts done as well in the matching colours. 
So that's good. Tiny bit bendy still by the feels of them, but we can definitely get them out. Look at that. Gorgeous shiny mold. Pop it over there. All right. Oh my gosh. This is nerve wracking. Let's get these out as well. Let's put them here for now. Now, because this is the, the deeper in the center, I'm expecting, you know, the glitter to kind of drop down in the middle. So we'll have a look at those in a minute. But let's, uh, let's turn these over and then we can see which side we like, whether it's this side or the other side. Oh, it's much more sparkly on that side. Look at that. It's a few pe if you look at this, this side here, there's a few pieces of glitter that it, you can sort of see them they're risen to the surface so I would definitely go with this side plus you have a nice smooth edge there whereas on this side um, if you haven't filled them up all the way you get that little ridge so we'll definitely say this side okay oh, love it love this color look at that and you can see the little bits of black in there as well more so on this side the black I guess because the glitter is heavier, it has sunk, so you get a more a more glittery effect on this side. And here's the, the green one. Oh, this is so pretty, you guys. Put them all this way. Now we can see if they actually join together. I, I haven't even tested it yet. Oh, I just have to hope that they do. There we go. Oh, this one's really pretty too. They're all pretty. All right. Um, hang on. <laughs> There we go. That goes in there. That goes in there. Uh, mm, no, that's not right. <laughs> I'm not very good at puzzles. That goes in there. That goes in there. That goes in there and that goes in there. All right. Shall we cross fingers and see if it fits? Oh, all right. Here we go. Put that in there. <gasps> oh, look, you guys. Yay. Oh, my gosh. That's a perfect fit. Drop. Oh, look at that. And then this one. In it goes. <laughs> Love it. Oh gosh, small things mind. <laughs> small things are new, small minds. All right. Okay, and here's the little puffy heart. Oh, that is so adorable. So adorable. Looks really pretty, so that would match with that one. A little bit of overflow there. Peel that off. So it has more of the clear around the edges and the loop there. And then in the center where it's deeper, that's where more glitters kind of accumulated, so you get a, a, a darker, sort of brighter patch in the middle. But I don't mind that. It, it's, it's really more 3D because you've got the lighter on the outside and the darker in the middle. Oh, I hope you can see these okay. They're so pretty. <laughs> and the green one. There we go. The green, I guess you can see the black a little bit more clearly in the green, probably because it's a lighter colour. So pretty, you guys. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, I'm so happy that these fit. Ta-da! 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 Oh my gosh. So excited. I've had this mould for a while and I haven't actually used it yet, so this is the first time. Oops, I can't see what I'm doing. There we go. <laughs> it's in. Oh, look at that. Wow, oh, that was so much fun. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed my video. Um, and there you go. You can see that gorgeous color there. Let me just take that out. And then I'll just I'll shimmer it a bit for you. What do you think? And snap it back in. Oops, I can't see what I'm doing through the screen. <laughs> ah, there we go. <laughs> Need to look on the other side. Shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. Look at that. Get out of the way, puppy hearts. Shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. So pretty. And then the last one, the purpley one. Shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. Alrighty. So, aren't they just a fun set of coasters, hey? Or if you wanted to, you could just have it as one big trivet pot holder. I don't know. Just make sure that you use a nice heat resistant resin. The Platinum 360 Plus that I use is heat resistant to 90 degrees Celsius. So you can put a hot 
cup of coffee in it, you know, after it's had a splash of milk, it comes down in temperature to, I don't know, 70, 80 degrees, something like that. So you can easily pop something on it. But if you are going to put something hot on your resin or anything on your resin, really, um, to avoid any like ring marks, just wait 30 days. I think it's about 30 days just so it's totally, totally cured before you start putting things on it. Otherwise, you, you may ruin it by leaving a ring. And we don't want to do that. Oh, my gosh, you guys. I'm so excited with these. All right, here we go. Let's separate them all again. Oh, there we go. <laughs> all right, I'll link this jigsaw puzzle mold uh, in the description. If you want one, follow the link. Grab yourself one. And um, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you again real soon for the next video. You never know what I'm going to come up with. <laughs> Something new, no doubt. All right. See you soon. Love you all. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.